This is a tutorial on how to make a moving player in Unity 3D along with a third person camera. So first I'm going to open Unity 5, then I'm going to hit new project, and I'm going to call this moving cube for YouTube. You can rename it whatever you want. Okay, so skip and right now we have an empty scene you can move around the scene by scrolling up and down with the middle mouse um, wheel or with the by swiping up and down two fingers on your if you have a Mac trackpad right and you can turn around by holding control on a Mac and clicking and dragging I am not so sure about other computers okay so we're going to create an empty scene first so just save the scene we have right now you can hit file save scene or you can hit command s or control s and i'm gonna call this i don't know scene one okay so this scene has nothing but a main camera and lighting okay so i'm just gonna add a plane which is by going to component or game object my mistake 3d and plane all right so we have a plane right here i'm going to reset the position you can set this to 0 0 0 manually or you can hit this and hit reset it's always a good habit to have things reset it okay so you have this plane now i'm gonna add our player which will be a cube for the sake of the tutorial you could import your own model of course but again so i'm gonna reset this too hit reset and as you can see it's slightly below the plane so I'm going to raise the y value up you can drag the y like that you can move the cube up like that or you can just manually change the y to 2.5 I'm gonna be super safe that it's not touching not inside the ground somehow so I'm gonna make it 0 0.501 you can't even notice the, the difference there so we have a cube and now I'm going to add now if we look at the game view view this is what it looks like and as you can see we're pretty far away from um, the cube so I'm gonna move the camera which is located here closer you can just move it like that and you can see in the camera preview down here uh, where it is roughly and I'm gonna move it closer and up a little bit and uh, here I'll angle it down a bit so down another way to do that would be to hit this button and then just pull it down but I like to be precise so if maybe 10 okay move it and then if I change the position like that it's gonna go up and down right but I just want to move it forward perfectly forward to, to do that change from local to global as you can see the arrows have changed and now it's in a global positioning it will I can move it forward now I'll switch back to local okay so you can save what we have right now if you hit play you'll go to game mode and all you'll see is this as you can see everything is white so it's a little bit hard to make out the player from the ground so I'm going to add some texture to it or coloring you know so I'm to do that I'm going to go to Google Chrome and whatever browser of course and just look up an image so I don't know, uh, texture, seamless, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be that perfect for this tutorial, so I'm just gonna open this one and drag this in my desktop, in other words save it, and that one's gonna go on my, on the cube maybe, or the wall, we'll see, and I'll get something else that looks a bit different maybe this i guess this can go on the ground so i'll go back to unity and to use these all you do is just drag them in like that into the assets and once you do that you can to apply it just drag it into the shape so there i've applied it to the ground and i can edit it by going to plane here you can see it come over here you click this arrow and you can make it tile it if you want. Oh, oops, 
not that one. I meant this one. Tile it if you want. So, two, two. As you can see, it becomes smaller because. Yep. And do I want it to be metallic? Nope. Do I want it to be smooth? Nope. There. And now I'm going to add the one for the cube. So, I'm just going to do the same thing. Drag this one in. Drag that in. That's my cube now. And that looks pretty good to me. So if I switch to game mode, you can see that we have a distinct cube. Uh, I see that the ground isn't very big, so I'm going to make it bigger. To change the scale of the ground, I'm going to make it uh, just double it in size. Not Y, because just you see, I am doubled the X width and doubled the Z width. And now I've doubled the plane. I'm going to keep on increasing it. As you can see, as I increase it, this becomes more and more big and blurry, so you're gonna need to tile it more. I'm gonna tile this to 10 by, oops, 10. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If I play it, of course nothing will happen, because now we need to do the scripting bit, which is the fun bit.